I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Hey there, it's Chris Everdeen, and this is my dog, Roscoe. Say hi, Roscoe. Let's say hi. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm going to be packing for my trip to Disneyland. I know, we're leaving, but it's okay. It's only going to be one night. Um, but we are staying at the Grand Legacy Hotel that's right across the street from Disneyland. The team over at the Grand Legacy Hotel actually gave me a complimentary stay as well as a complimentary meal for their rooftop restaurant and bar called The Fifth. And although this video is not sponsored by them, they did give me these things for free, so I wanted to disclose it. And yeah, so we're going to be heading over there tonight and I have my suitcase ready, so I'm going to start packing. And yes, even though we're staying for one night, I need a full suitcase. Okay, so I'm going to stay at the Grand Legacy for one night and then the next day we're going to go to Disneyland. So I'm going to be packing what I need for nighttime and then of course everything that I need for Disney the next day. I am going to be taking my trusty Disneyland backpack and pack what I normally pack in there. Um, if you are interested in watching a video on what to pack to Disneyland, like in your backpack when you go to the parks, I will link that in the description box below. But this is more of like a casual pack with me, the other one's more informative. So if you want to watch that one instead, again, it'll be linked in the description box below. Alrighty then, so... Uh, First thing I'm going to pack is my nighttime skincare routine and it's already in this Ziploc bag because um, these products go with me in the shower and they're all wet so I don't want to get the rest of everything in my suitcase wet so I put it in a Ziploc bag. So it's uh, my cleanser, my facial spray, and then my retinol serum and I just pack that nice and in there. And then I'm also going to need pajamas, and since we're going to Disneyland, I'm going to go ahead and pack my Disney pajamas. Yay! I know, they're not like girly and cute. This is probably a men's shirt, but it's I think it's adorable because it's Mickey Mouse and it's really comfortable, and that's the important part of uh, pajamas, that they're comfortable. And then I just have like the, these... Okay, fine. If you look closely, they're little skull and crossbones, but they're comfortable. Yes, sure, I did get them from the boys section at Target, but again, they're cozy. <laughs> so those are my pajamas. And then um, since we're gonna go to dinner later on, actually, I'm going to, oops, sorry. Ah, I'm going to be wearing a nice outfit, and the outfit that I decided to wear is kind of like a Minnie Mouse Disney bound. So I'm going to wear this polka dot dress. And underneath it, I'm going to be wearing this uh, mock neck long sleeve. And I've worn this outfit before, and a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, your outfit's super cute. So I'm excited to wear it. So it kind of looks like this. And then, to really make it Minnie Mouse, I have this beret that I got from Box Lunch. And it's, um, like, it resembles Minnie Mouse's classic, like, little hat and flower that she would wear uh, in the old, old shows. And I think that's really cute with that outfit. I think it would be a really cute Disney bound. And then to take it to the next level, I have this Minnie Mouse bag. And with this, the outfit will be complete. And hopefully I will be warm enough because it's supposed to be cold today. But yeah, the beret, the long sleeve for underneath the dress, as well as the dress. And then finally, the bag. And then for shoes, I'm going to take these white booties. I just shared a Forever 21 haul on my channel, and if you're wondering, I got these booties from Forever 21. I posted a couple outfits on Instagram of me wearing these, and a bunch of people asked where I got them from. They are from Forever 21. I'm also going to pack a pair of undies, as well as my heat styling tool. To curl my hair, I use a wand from Lange Hair. It is a 25mm curling wand, and if you are interested in watching my curly hair routine, I also just shared that not too long ago, and if you want to, I guess I will also link that in the description box below. And just like with any video, if I say that I'm going to link something in the description box below and then you check and it's not there, please just comment that um, I forgot to link it. Um, and then I'll go ahead and link it because sometimes I do forget. Next up, I'm going to pack my makeup. This is my makeup bag. It has a little Mickey on here. I got this for Christmas and I love it. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it actually. Nope, nope, nope. 
I need my camera charger because I do not want my camera to die while I'm trying to like record everything over there at the hotel and I think one more thing I need is a warm jacket for sure because I think it actually might rain tonight. I absolutely love this jacket. It's a big fluffy white bomber jacket and I love it. It has button pockets, it has a hood and this was also in my Forever 21 haul so I got it from Forever 21 if you're wondering and yeah I think now I think that that's it. It would be more stuff but everything else that I need like socks and like flat shoes I'm gonna be actually wearing it when I go over there so I don't need to pack that like I already have this and then these ears um yeah and then my bag it already has like my makeup wipes my sunglasses ah, my sunglasses my regular glasses because if you did not know I actually do need glasses, I just never wear them because I am embarrassed. My lipstick, some granola bars, my wallet, um, pretty much all my essentials are in my regular Disney bag. And if you're interested in knowing what you should pack in your backpack to Disneyland, I will have that video in the description box below, unless I forgot. Then you could just remind me. And that's it. Thank you so much for packing with me, and let's head over to the Grand Legacy. Legacy Hotel that's right across the street from Disneyland and uh, they were kind enough to uh, give us a complimentary stay for one night here as well as a complimentary meal at their rooftop restaurant and bar called The Fifth and that's where we're going to be headed right now. We have reservations in about 20 minutes so yeah we're just going to get settled and head over there and we're going to take you along with us and give you a little review on their restaurant see if it's absolutely delicious and really cool but first I want to give you a really quick room tour it's pretty much just standard room but the details are mirror two queen beds non-smoking room with complimentary Wi-Fi and snack bag I'm not really sure what that means but um, we have it um, room features modern high-end furniture and decor with double sinks and granite countertops in the bathroom Room also includes a mini refrigerator, microwave, HDTV, complimentary toiletries, hair dryer, iron, and wake-up service. Roll-away beds and cribs are available at no extra charge. And we also got complimentary valet parking, which I thought was really interesting because apparently everyone gets complimentary valet parking if they stay here. But um, yeah, those are pretty much all the details. Pretty standard room, very clean, and again, right across the street from Disneyland. So, sweet, let's go eat. So since the 5th is right across the street from Disneyland, when you look to the distance, you're able to see Disneyland structures like the Gardens of the Galaxy, Mickey's Fun Wheel, and Space Mountain. When we first arrived, it was a nice cloudy day, and we were enjoying the beautiful sky view. However, Within an hour of being there, it started to rain, so we had to go under the tents that they had set up in anticipation for the rain. Normally, it's more open, but since they uh, figured that it might rain that day, they put up the tents just in case, and good thing that they did because, yeah, it rained. <laughs> um, regardless of the rain, it was still a rather pleasant outdoor experience. Uh, they had heaters, live music, and a very friendly and attentive staff. Okay, so food. The first thing I knew I wanted to order were nachos. I saw their nachos on their website and was like, I need to try them. The nachos had queso, black beans, guacamole, sour cream, and steak. They were super good and I ate most of them, but Michael had some too. So, you know, I'm not that crazy to eat this whole thing of nachos. Um, Michael ate the side with the steak, so... Yeah. Uh, we both agreed that they were absolutely delicious. Um, to drink, I ordered a non-alcoholic pina colada. I really like pina coladas. They're super duper sweet and I, I like them. <laughs> um, but of course, I don't drink, so I just get them without alcohol. But if you are a drinker, the fifth 
is a restaurant and bar. So for those of you looking for a cool place near Disneyland to hang out and have a few drinks, you can go ahead and try out the fifth. After devouring the nachos, Michael ordered a pretzel bun hamburger, which turned out to be his favorite item of the night. For me, I ordered their grilled cheese sandwich. It had cheese, tomato, pesto, avocado, and bacon. However, I ended up removing the bacon. Um, this was apparently our waitress's favorite item on the menu, and I thought it was good, but I wish it had a little extra flavor to it, like maybe another sauce, or maybe the cheese wasn't melted enough. Um, I mean, it was good, I ate it all, but I feel like it could have been a touch better if it had a little something extra. Maybe that's what the bacon was supposed to do, but I don't eat meat, so oh well. Again, it was still tasty and I really enjoyed it. Also, the fries were fantastic. So after hanging out for a bit, we finally decided to order dessert and I ordered the donut bites. Normally they're filled with either chocolate, caramel, or raspberry filling, but I wanted my uh, sauce on the side. So I just got the regular whole donuts with a little dipping sauce and I was able to eat them like that and I thought they were super duper good. And Michael ordered their Cloud 5 dessert, I believe it was called. It was like a brownie with ice cream, whipped cream, uh, chocolate sauce, and a drizzle of Oreo crumbs. And he ate it all. He really loved that as well. He thought it was delicious. So if you're a big chocolate fan, go ahead and order that one. If you like donuts, you could also get the donut bites. And then they also have other options as well. Overall, it was a really great dinner. It was, they had delicious food, to be honest. And then, um, in addition to the food and the friendly staff, they also had a live band there, and they were playing like rock music and covers of classic songs. So that was pretty cool as well. And then the ambiance is like a lounge. It's relaxing, but also fun. And, and overall, a great time to either hang out with one other person or a group of people. Just make sure that you make a reservation beforehand because man does that place get really crowded we did go on a saturday so if you go during the weekend you definitely have to call in for a reservation but you might get lucky if you decide to go during a weekday but i would still call to make a reservation so yeah that was our experience at the fifth it was pretty great and after we ate there we actually headed to disneyland at night. Again, this um, hotel slash the restaurant is right across the street from Disneyland. So all we had to do was drop off our stuff at the hotel and walk over to the entrance of Disneyland and go in. And since Michael and I are annual pass holders, we didn't have to worry about buying a ticket just to stay at the park for like two hours. So that's why we went ahead and rode a couple rides at night. And then at like 1130, we headed back and went to sleep. And our intention was to wake up early the next day to try and get boarding passes for Rise of the Resistance because if you did not know, the new Star Wars ride at Disneyland called Rise of the Resistance, you can't just get in line for it like any other ride. You actually have to go to Disneyland early, right when the park opens, go onto the Disneyland app, and then try and get a boarding pass through the Disneyland app. But the thing is, they are all booked within like a couple minutes of the park opening. So if you're not at Disneyland when the park opens and trying to get the boarding pass at that time, then you pretty much can't get on the ride. Actually, yeah, not pretty much you can't. Literally, you cannot. And if you want to see my experience in riding Rise of the Resistance for the first time, that video will also be linked in the description box below. I have a lot of really fun videos for you guys to watch. Anywho, that was our intention and we ended up just sleeping in because it was really cozy. The hotel has a blackout curtains so we don't have to worry about the sun blinding us and waking us up. So um, yeah, we slept in, I got ready at the hotel, we went to Disneyland anyway, but just for a little bit I needed to take some pictures with some new products that a company sent to me but I can't show you yet because they have a certain date where I'm allowed to share with you the designs um, and I it, that's not till later so sorry I can't show you but um, yeah we went ahead and did that and then we rode a couple rides and then we headed back home and that was our experience staying at the Grand Legacy that's what I packed for my one stay not much, but I ended up using it all. And now we are back 
where we started. I am now unpacking. Roscoe is asleep. And um, I'm still wearing the same sweater from yesterday. Because again, it was just one day. I didn't have to really pack too much. But um, yeah, it was a really fun time. Thank you so much to the team over at the Grand Legacy for having us. Also, the team over at the 5th. You guys were great. We had a great time. I definitely need to go to the gym now. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you found this video either interesting, entertaining, or helpful. If you are interested in learning more about staying at the Grand Legacy or dining at the 5th, then please visit the link in the description box below. Sorry, I know so many links in the description box below, but I will properly label them so that it's easy for you to find. And yeah, if you want to see more of my Disney adventures, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It is at Crystal Everdeen. I share a bunch of really fun photos. Speaking of photos, the product that we took photos of at Disneyland today that will be on my Instagram once the date has arrived for me to share them. So if you're really curious as to what it is, at Crystal Everdeen on Instagram. But yeah, thank you so, so much again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Roscoe is super cute. And also if you enjoyed this video. And also if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a lot of Disney related videos as well. And yeah, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already so I can see you next time. Bye! And have a magical day. Thank you.